the core idea was that uh, initially when we started to make the game, we wanted to make like um, uh, infinitely, infinitely scrolling uh, game. We want to make something where you can play forever. Of course, in, in the in the final iteration of the game, that's not going to happen because you're going to die before that happens. But still, we want to make levels where we don't have to build something you know, build a tunnel and then either like scroll elements through the tunnel. So basically what we did is every single level in SGW is basically rotating around a point which has the benefit that we can build these quite cool sceneries and they have no, no beginning or no end. It has a minor drawback in that background elements can't really interact with foreground elements but for a game that's as noisy as SGW it that's not something we should have added either way, like that, which would have just made it even more confusing. We basically have a, two cameras. There's the one camera that always stays in one place, that is showing the action, that's roughly here. And then there's the backdrop camera, constantly rotating through the scenery. Which means that, of course, it looks like you're moving, but it's not a tunnel, so it will just loop forever. It was just basically a decision to do a thing in a non-orthodox way that potentially allowed us to put more time into building the stuff that's, you know, on the foreground. Uh, and also that gave us, you know, performance, you know, leeway to have more bullets and stuff like that going on on the screen. Uh, one other, other advantage that this gave us is that all the action is always at static positions. Like, if we spawn something at, you know, zero, zero, zero position, that's gonna be in the middle of the screen always in the foreground so that makes certain calculations a lot easier because SGW is that's another thing I guess is it's you know it allows us to handle all the action as if it's 2D which again makes everything a lot lighter like you know calculating something like homing missiles or something like that because we don't have to think about the depth coordinates at all like basically what it does is it first it renders the camera that has this debris in it and sorting around and then it kind of takes what it had from there and uses that as a background and renders the action on top of that. You know, this is more like a set of rocks in an ocean. And again, like the camera is going around a certain point in the, in the middle. Fake buildings and fog in here. Basically in action, it looks like this. It looks like you're going through these holes. You know, I, I think we made a game that is fun. Like everybody who's played has had fun to a point. Whether that fun is what the prize or blah blah blah, whether that's you know going to change your life or something like that, I don't know. But it's fun, and that's all that I can ask of it, really.